Hallelujah. It is such a privilege. It is such an awesome privilege to know, to discover that we have the God to carry, to share our burdens. God wants to take that burden off of you. He is saying, come, come ye who labor, come you, yes you who labor, and are heavy laden, bow down, and I will give you rest. The Lord wants to give you rest. God says he knows that you have been neglected by so many persons, by family, by friends, by co-workers, by people who should be there. But God is saying he will not neglect you. He wants to form a pair, a partnership with you. Hallelujah. As stated in St. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30, we are going to look deeper into this word. If you have been feeling neglected and burdened down in life, this word is for you. Share it with someone also who you know has been battling with depression, battling with fears, battling with anxieties. The Lord is calling those who have been neglected. Let not conceit deceive you. Let not a proud and a puffed up attitude stop you from receiving your rest in God. Hallelujah. Don't believe that you can do all of this on your own. Please. The Lord Jesus Christ is inviting you to come. Hallelujah. Let us worship God and invite him in our atmospheres. Because praise is an invitation for the Lord God. He inhabits the praises of his people oh how he loves us hallelujah jesus loves us so much will you be his disciple join me in worship welcome holy spirit just surrender in this moment we are in your presence fill us with your power live inside of me hallelujah just surrender to god surrender to god i see someone crying god says he has not forsaken you you are grieving. You balambere sukush natanda. Jesus says, Your tears are so precious to me. Come, my child, I will give you rest. And this is not an empty promise. It's not in vain to serve the Lord. Will you come? Will you come? Hallelujah. 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 So we're going to pray and then get into the word of the Most High God. Let us begin. Almighty God, most infinite, powerful, and glorious, marvelous, fruitful, and wonderful God we are people come here today another time wanting to learn from you wanting to be your disciple God we are taking the invitation to your rest 
Holy Father, you intended for creation to rest in you. That's why on the sixth day of creation, you looked and you saw that everything was finished. It was good and perfect. The work was completed. That was why you rested on the seventh day. God, you want us to join you in this rest from here by trusting in you, Jehovah, that you care for us. That behold, even though we are on this earth and trouble may come, you promise us that you will be with us. And because you have already overcome the world, we too, we are more than overcomers. Solo Kodebesh Natarasa. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we put on the whole armor of Jesus Christ right now. Help us to get ready, Almighty God, to stand against the wiles of the devil who comes with lies, who comes with profanity who comes with deception who comes with look who they may sandal disorder and tumult chaos father help us to get ready and to stay ready in Jesus' name god we break every chain of setback we break every chain of delays in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we call on you. You are the judgment fire. You are the consuming fire. Let your judgment fire fall within our atmosphere and in our lives. Consecrate us as your vessels, God. And help us to hear from you. And at the end of it all, let us hear well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into my rest. Hallelujah, for that is the covenant you have with us. There is still a rest. While we are here on earth, we can dwell in the presence of God and rest from trouble and chaos and attacks of the enemy, meaning we can overcome any weapons that are formed against us. Everything I have to work out for our good. Lord, help us to be obedient. Help us to enter that final rest, that heavenly home. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you agree with this prayer. Say in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. The scripture reading is coming to us from St. Matthew chapter 11. We shall be reading from verses 28 to 30. Are you ready to hear the refreshing truth of Jehovah? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. So these are the words Jesus Christ is speaking. This is an invitation to everyone. So again, I say, verse 28, I reiterate the holy words coming from Jesus Christ. It is still going forth. The word of the living God is still going forth today. Come unto me, all ye, which means all you that labor and are heavy laden. 
And I, I, Jesus Christ, will give you rest. Verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Glory be to God. I just received another revelation. Glory to Jehovah. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is is light hallelujah glory to god jesus christ says verse 30 for my yoke is easy and my burden is light glory to god in the eyes hallelujah thank you jesus Salomo Koroso. holy spirit please blessed teacher sweet holy spirit Open the words of Jehovah unto us. Help us to learn from Jesus Christ this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you want to hear the revelations that the Lord Jesus Christ has given unto me? Do you want to know what it means to live an easy life in Christ? To live a life that is a light of burden glory be to god hallelujah thank you jesus god i submit under your authority thank you jesus so let us dissect the holy word of truth so that we can know exactly what jesus is saying yes lord yes hallelujah Verse 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Glory to God. The first word that we are going to look at today is laden. What does laden mean? Hallelujah. When I was led to research the word moments ago. This is a word that the Lord has placed upon my heart and he led me to go and look at it. When I looked at the word laden, from the root word Hebrew, it speaks about one who is burdened, one who is bowed down. Hallelujah, glory to God. Instead of holding their heads up and high and looking properly to see where God is leading them, this person who is heavy laden is bowed down. A huge, a huge burden is on their back. What is the burden that you are What is the, the burden that you are carrying today? The Lord wants to dismiss it. In the name of Jesus. God wants to give you rest. He wants to take off that burden. And he wants to partner with you and give you a lighter load. Jesus Christ he is saying, will you come unto me? Because what I am about to do, I am about to form a relationship with you. I am going to come and stand beside you. The Lord Jesus Christ is standing beside me. Glory be to God. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is standing beside me. A lot of persons may believe that Jesus Christ does not exist. They believe that because he has ascended to heaven, that he by his spirit is not still present and active, but God says, I am here and I'm here for you. Hey. 
Hakush Natalande de Sile. I have seen the Lord Jesus Christ. I have met with God. He comes in the room. He sits with me. He talks with me. Kalo, when I am feeling burdened, Lubana Kado, so the other day, I felt so bombarded. So many things wanted to occupy my mind. So many troubles. Mighty God and the Lord led me to fast. When I fast and whenever anyone fasts, we are truly meeting with God. We are presenting what the issue is to God so that he can give us give us the wisdom and he is able to take that burden and say okay here is how you handle it and I will partner with you to ensure that this trouble does not devour you glory be to God Hallelujah. And I hear the songwriter says Kalosho Doso Travis Green saying you made a way, hallelujah. When my back was against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you, you made a way. When I think about the love of Jesus Christ, Tears of joy comes to my heart and my soul. He is a mighty soul. He is the lover of my soul. The Holy Spirit taught me a new word, a new word, a new name to describe my God. It is so good to be in partnership with the Lord Jesus Christ. You have a heavenly home. So you learn new language through the spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ has revealed new names unto me. Hallelujah. It's so... Oh. God wants me to share. But it's really an intimate... I got it from an intimate place with Jesus. But I will share it with you. The Holy Spirit put the new word in my mouth. He spoke it to me and he put the new word in my mouth. Another name for God which has not been revealed unto men until the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. Le maro so kosh. Le malo so kosh. Akano sidenda lango. Is Jehovah Akisu. Hallelujah. Le me karos netel. This name means God of power. Hallelujah. He is the God of power. Hallelujah. Because once I have heard the Lord spoken, yet twice I have heard it, that all power belongs to God. So he is called Jehovah Akisu. Glory to God. And we have to thank the Holy Spirit for revealing this mystery to us we have to thank the lord jesus christ he alone is the worthy lamb that was able to break the scroll so that we can know god so that we can come to god hallelujah and do you know that this word that i spoke to you this this phrase actually comes from the scripture here is proof yes and i want you to actually go to it for a moment please turn your bible to psalm 62 verse 11 
find it? Okay. It reads thus. God hath spoken once. Twice have I heard this. That power belongeth unto God. Hallelujah. So we are coming to a God who has all the power. He has all the power. He is the heavyweight champion. Hallelujah. This God is the this God, this God, this God. Though God came on earth through Jesus Christ and he was born as a Jew and spoke in Aramaic and Hebrew tongue, the Lord Jesus Christ, he knows all language. He knows all the languages. Remember the Tower of Babel. Hallelujah. So in Genesis chapter 11 verses 1 to 9, you can read about this profound mystery. You can also go to it because I believe God has instructed me to always use proof, evidence. Hallelujah. So in this chapter, we are going to look at verse 1. Verse 1 starts out by saying, And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Hallelujah. So God, hey, Jesus, you are worthy. So God in his significance, God in his foreknowledge, God in his intellectual capacity, Hallelujah. First allowed persons to have one language. Just to show what it means to be in oneness before God. When we are one before God, we can do anything. But there is a snare that occurs. A snare of deception if one is not careful. It is a snare of conceit. When one be becomes so proud and puffed up and to say, I can do anything to reach God. But Jesus says, there is only one way. There is only one way to enter the rest. God's presence, there is only one way. And just as though Christ, just as though God Almighty destroy this conceited attitude before him by scattering the peoples in various directions so the lord will do to any conceited spirit he will snuff them out he will abase them because there is no higher power than god god is not just a higher power a thing but he is the god of all power the god of high power he is jehovah akisu hallelujah Verse 9 of Genesis chapter 11 proves that God was powerful enough. God who knows all languages and, and forms all languages and forms our tongue. Hallelujah. And gives us the mental capacity to form words. Persons are saying, oh, I don't believe in holy tongues. I don't believe in heavenly language. But God is saying, were you there when I created man? Were you there when I listed out the languages that mankind should speak? Do you know the languages in which the angels, they call us so usher in my presence? Do you know? Do you know Kalamede Sandalikiru? There is no dictionary here on earth. 
that is beyond my knowledge, that can escape my intellectual capacity. I am all and all is in me. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the very end. Hallelujah. So if it is language that you are using to say that you will not come to God and you will not pray for the Holy Spirit because you do not like when persons speak in holy tongues because it is so disruptive. But God is saying, how oh, dare you call my spirit disruptive? Did you not know that Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross, availed my spirit to you? That is why when Jesus Christ returned to me, to heaven, to God, God is speaking. God is speaking through me right now. Pay close attention. God said that when Jesus, his son, came here on earth, and when he died on the cross and arose and ascended to heaven, he showed that he had made a perfect sacrifice. And this sacrifice was, was the only worthy sacrifice for me to reveal, to give my mystery, my Holy Spirit to you. You cannot come to God. You cannot come to God. Jesus, Saloko. You need Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the light. Hallelujah. So here in verse 9, Genesis chapter 11, the word of God says, Therefore is the name of it called Babel. Because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God in heaven. Father, you are such a wise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes the Lord is calling us to move, to move out of our comfort zone so that he can increase our capacity, so that he can bring us into our rest, like what he did for Abraham. It was when Abraham separated from Lot, so he was able to receive the word of the living God for his future, his future descendants, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I bind up every disruptive spirit in Jesus' name. Disruptive spirit is only the spirit that is of a false prophet. It is only the spirit that is of Satan, the Holy Spirit, is so intellectual, so wise. He strategizes with the plans of God because he is God himself. There is a set time and season for everything under the sun. Hallelujah. It is for us to align ourselves we ought to align ourselves. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that revelation, that wisdom which you have just imparted to me. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord has brought back to my memory why we need the Holy Spirit. He brings back to our memory what we ought to know, the scriptures. Do you think we can read all of this and understand, study and interpret and utilize unless the Holy Spirit reveal God to us through these words because Jesus Christ is the living word? We cannot do this on our own. So the revelation that Jesus Christ of Nazareth has brought back to my mind, my memory is this. 
Psalm 71 verses 15 to 16 and we're going to look at it very quickly and it says my mouth shall shew forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day for I know not the numbers thereof hallelujah do you know do you know the numbers that the Lord God has allotted to you here on earth? Do you know when death will come knocking on your door? Do you know, do you know, do you know? Will you allow your mouth to speak? Will you allow your mouth to speak of the righteousness, to shew forth the righteousness of God and his salvation. Glory be to God in the eyes all day long because you know not the numbers thereof. Will you allow the Lord to speak through you? Will you allow the Lord to use you to testify, to bear witness that he is God. God is calling his true prophets. God, God is raising up some prophets during this time. Will you answer the master? Will you answer the master's call? His name is Jesus. His name is Yahweh, which means I am. He is the Lord. He is the ruler. He is God. Will you answer? Will you proclaim? Tell of the mysteries, the messages of God. Will you allow the living God to speak in your ear? To convey messages in and through you to his people? Hallelujah. I will never forget the day. When the Lord Jesus Christ anointed my ear to hear from him. Hallelujah. And when he anointed my mouth to speak for him. I am not my own. I belong to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I know not the numbers of days that have been allotted to me that have been given unto me but by the grace of God. My desire is this, to live each day under submission to the King because God says, unless you do the Father's will which is in heaven, you shall not enter God's rest. You shall not enter the kingdom of God. And if you do not believe, turn your Bible to uh, St. Matthew chapter 7. Look at the importance of submitting to God, of joining partnership with the Lord Jesus Christ. Taking this invitation that Jesus Christ gives. This is why. Verses 15 to 23, and it reads thus. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Another version, New International Version says, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit be wise 
verse 19 every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down meaning is cut down and cast into the fire verse 20 wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them verse 21 not every one that saith unto me this is the lord jesus christ who is teaching us how to be careful to be aware means to be alert to be cautious hallelujah god is saying be careful we ought to be careful because there are persons who go about saying lord 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 and you will think that heaven has a space for them but god through his son jesus christ is saying in matthew chapter 7 hallelujah verses 19 halmakeros verses 15 to 23 that unless a person produces good fruit that person labors in vain because that person will not and shall not enter into my rest hallelujah look at it verse 21 not everyone that saith unto me the lord jesus christ is speaking lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven hallelujah but he that doeth but he that doeth hallelujah hallelujah jesus christ when he came on earth he would continue to say when persons ask him i must do the work of the one who has sent me jesus was so submissive he was submissive to the father who had sent him to do the work prepared for him to do hallelujah hallelujah so the lord jesus christ of nazareth is calling us let us go back to the main text saint matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30 so here we see the lord jesus christ giving an invitation the lord jesus christ posture is this come 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 unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest you cannot enter rest without partnering with the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, Oh glory to God. Thank you Jesus. The work that the Lord God has called us to. We do not have to do it alone. So if you are afraid to be used by God because you're saying ministry seem too hard ministry is such a huge responsibility God is saying you do not have to bear it alone I am here I will stand beside you I will give you the rest that you need when you see him to be so bombarded like when I can testify there are times when I feel so bombarded, but I'm reminded to rest in God. God has given me a day to rest. God has given me a rest. God has given me a rest. And it, on, and it is on that day, I will not discuss that day on which day it is, because it's for me and the Lord. But the Lord God has given me that day of rest. So that I am able to be refreshing and revived and to take off every worldly burden, every burden and bring it at his feet. And then he just gives me 
a shoulder to lean on. He sings songs of deliverance to me. Hallelujah. And he says how much he loves me and he equips me for what is ahead, for the battle. Hallelujah. I have an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you want this to just submit to God. Accept his invitation and come. Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? You do not have to bear this heavy burden. God said, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. God cares for you. Yes. Believe, yes. Jesus loves you so much. And that is why he sent me here to you. To all those who feel neglected, cumbersome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us continue. Verse 29 says, Take my yoke upon you. Pay attention to this. Take, take, take. Because the Lord God can give, but it is for us to take. Jesus says, St. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Hallelujah. So this is how we can find rest. This is the strategy. This is the truth. Jesus Christ is saying, take me. Take me. Take my yoke. Hallelujah. I just saw a vision of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth placing a yoke hallelujah upon my neck even upon the neck of someone today glory be to God in the eyes thank you Jesus the Lord Jesus Christ is standing beside you and he is saying and he is saying take here hallelujah do you know what a yoke looks like it is good that when we read the word of God, we don't just read it to go over or, or read it to go through or read it to say we have, we have read the Bible. But the Lord Jesus Christ says that we should rightly divide the word of God to make full proof of our ministry to, so that we are not ashamed when we go and we minister, when we share, proclaim the message of Jesus Christ. Divide the word of the living God. If you don't understand a meaning of a word, you go and you research it. Hallelujah from credible sources. Use the Bible, Ricardo Chocolosa, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. When you say, Teacher, Rabbanai Jesus Christ, I do not understand. I do not understand what you're saying to me. He will lead you to the right sources. And because He is the ultimate source and He knows where He has given my knowledge and has housed it. And he is also able to reveal newness, new mysteries, new understanding. Hallelujah. So we ought to learn from God. Glory be to God. Now for you to learn, just as though the Lord Jesus has taught me. The word learn means to acquire, to gain, to get knowledge of our skill of something by study by experience or by being taught glory to god and jesus christ in verse 29 is saying that we are to learn of him we are to learn from him we are to learn by him now let us uh, 
indulge into the meaning of yoke. Yoke is defined as a wooden frame that is placed on the neck or the head of animals. This device is used so that they can work together in pulling, in carrying the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And this yoke is normally in pair. There is no yoke that is meant to be just one animal carrying all that load. Glory to God. So the intellectual God, Rabbanai, Jesus Christ, was very careful when he utilizes the word, his word, yoke. Because God says, the visible things of God show forth the invisible things of God. What we see physically helps us to understand the nature of God. God sent his son Jesus Christ to partner with us. Hallelujah. To come alongside us. To put that, to put his yoke, no one else's yoke. His yoke is cross. Jesus Christ of Nazareth as demonstrated in the word of the living God. Jesus Christ carried his cross. He started, he carried it. And then, there came a man that was asked, that was invited to carry the cross for the rest of the journey to Golgotha. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Will you carry your cross? Will you carry your cross? Will you carry your cross? Jesus Christ says, I am here. I am here for you. I have done all the work. The work has already been completed. But there are natures that belong to a wolf. That is very, very important. We ought to know so we can be careful and stand in such a time as this. God says, beware of false prophets who comes to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Other words, ferocious wolves. Wolves are known to be highly intellectual. They have eye senses. They can smell well, hear well. Mighty God, they have powerful jaws. Canine teeth, they're meant to hunt. When they target someone, it's very rare that they missed. Because when you compare a human speed, according to literature, it says that a human is capable to run 27 and a half miles per hour. And according to literature, it says that this is the fastest man alive ever to meet such a record, which comes from Jamaica and you know his name. Hallelujah. But the Lord Jesus Christ says, no matter the human capabilities, we ought to know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers in high places. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is saying we ought to be wise. The spirit of a wolf means that this is a spirit that is highly intellectual not as intellectual as god of course that's why god can tell you the strategy to win this evil spirit a ravenous wolf hallelujah this spirit is known to be highly intellectual 
the spirit can also move onto their prey very fast. Run as fast as 37 miles per hour. That is the speed limit of a car. Because where I live, the acceptable speed limit for a car is 30 to 50 miles per hour. God is saying we ought to be smart. We need to be wise. Open your eyes. Open your spiritual senses. Do not neglect the instructions of Jehovah because it is for you to be safe. It is for you for your soul to enter the rest of God. They will come. The false prophets will come. When they speak, Lord, Lord, Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ even went as far as saying, by saying, 22, many will say to me, in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. But the Lord Jesus Christ shall say unto them. Verse 23. And then will I profess unto them. I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Hallelujah. He that worketh iniquity. The power is in the name of Jesus Christ. Not because you see persons speaking, prophesying, and the word comes to pass. Not because you see them working miracles wondrous miracles in the name of the lord jesus christ doing healing and deliverance sermons and sessions in the name of jesus christ that does not mean that they know christ that does not mean that they have truly partnered with the lord jesus christ that doesn't mean that the spirit of the sovereign lord lives inside of them because jesus christ says that there is power in my name the lord's name alone is powerful he is powerful his name alone is powerful. The word of the living God says. For God has given him a name that is exalted above all other names. So that at the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee is in heaven and every knee is on earth. And every knee is under the earth must bow. Including Satan. At the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So who will be able to save from out of God's hand? God answers to no man. God answers to no one. But we will have to give an answer to God. Why did we not accept the invitation that came through his son Jesus Christ. When this gift is free. These ravenous wolves. That you need to be careful of. They don't work alone. As the nature of a wolf. They normally linger and, and work in packs. They journey, they travel in packs. According to research, the literature states that the least amount of individual wolf would be six. And the most it can be is up to two dozen 
which means 24. Imagine someone not paying attention Akalo, to warning sign when they are walking. Picture someone walking through a forest, walking on a journey. And they keep seeing signs, beware of wolves, beware of wolves. But they kept walking anyway because they say, I know where I'm going. I know I can do things on my own. I can do life on my own. I don't need that sign. I don't need no one's advice. I don't need the word of God. Listen. Now imagine when the alpha male from that pack of wolf. Let me tell you something. With every pack of wolves, they are tightly knitted because no one can be a part of the pack unless they're either family or unless they have been accepted. Now the secret mystery, thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name. Now the secret mystery of a pack of wolves. They are tightly knitted. They are mainly families because it comes with a peer. You don't want a peer with Jesus Christ who will keep you safe from these false prophets, from these ravenous wolves. Then if you do not peer with the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will surely encounter a peer with the other gangs that follow them because the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth says that the power that they have is in their mouth so they will speak all these things the power that they have is also how oh, they move they are swift they are very alert you don't want to be alert God says they are very alert for the devil he goes about like a roar lion only like a roaring lion seeking whom he wants to devour whom he can devour if you do not calamadoso sit still abide in the place of authority which is given unto us in the name of Jesus Christ by being a son of God then listen the peer that comes in that pack comes from an alpha male and an alpha female and they deal with the birthing. The alpha female responsibility is about the breeding process, increasing the number and protecting the pups, protecting the younger wolves. The alpha male deals with Ikerusha, pregnating, deals with providing, deals with the real hunting. Because once that alpha male targets and bring down the, the prey, hallelujah, then the gang comes in and devour, they linger, they surround their territory and they feed and one wolf can eat up to 7 to 20 pounds of flesh. The gray wolf in particular, they are known to take down large herbivores. They take down large animals, larger than their sizes. That means wolves. These wolves, they are fearless. You want to say, oh, I've been, I've been a Christian for 20, 30, 40 years. Do you think evil spirits care about how long you have been a Christian if you do not have the Spirit of God inside you? If you do not usher in the presence of Jehovah, if you do not partner with Christ, if they, if they do not see the Lord Jesus Christ standing beside you with the yoke upon your neck sharing with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if they do not see the Lord Jesus Christ with you, what you think will happen? For this is the heritage of the servants of the Most High God. Servants we serve. We do the will of the Father. We partake in good work. This is the heritage, saith the Lord God. 
Isaiah 54 verse 17 Isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me saith the lord and the lord does not lie this is the assurance that we have the lord jesus will not neglect us we have a new heritage we have a birthright a covenant upon our life when we put on the lord jesus christ yoke we put on the heritage from the lord the heritage of the lord that no weapons they could have fast little more they could do anything they could be highly intellectual they could stand tall they could bend and contour themselves in many different shapes and forms but the lord jesus christ of nazareth says in saint luke chapter 10 behold look i have given you authority will you sit still which means will you sit in the authority rest in the authority that jesus christ of nazareth has given unto you because behold jesus christ says behold i have given you authority to trample upon the snakes the scorpions and all all the powers of satan in jesus name so i end here i end here i pray to the living god that even as wolves normally breed during february to april and they would have that wolf they would have their pup and in two months can you imagine in two months two months is the gestational period for a wolf that's why the, that's why the alpha female is able to breed so fast and is normally not just one pregnancy is normally not just one embryo is not just one wolf that is conceived in one going two months to be conceived after birth in about three to four months they become full size which is normally during the october period we have to be wise there are some breeds of evil spirits that are preparing false prophets they are ravenous wolves and the lord is instructing you be careful be on the alert submit to god jesus christ says in saint matthew chapter 29 learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart jesus is very wise he is meek he, he was so submissive to the will the authority of god the father he didn't seek to please men he sought to please the father who is in heaven we all have to be meek we have to submit to the authority to god the father and lowly in heart we have to be humble we cannot be puffed up before jehovah hallelujah so that we can find rest for our souls and not be devoured by these ravenous wolves hallelujah verse 30 and last says for my yoke is easy and my burden is light for my yoke jesus christ is saying for my yoke is easy and my burden is light
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us applaud the spirit of the sovereign Lord. Let us applaud Rabboni, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who sees all. Let us applaud him. He is the true teacher right here, right now. Glory be to God. I pray that we all shall be careful. That we shall not neglect the instructions from Jehovah. That we shall get ready. That we shall prepare by studying. Hallelujah. By dividing the words of God. Spending time to meet with God. To usher in his presence. He is real. If you invite him, he will come. Jesus is inviting you. Will you come? Come. 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 Yes, you. 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 Le makado. You. Le me shada matel. Yes, you. Yes, you. It is you. Yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. You. Miss White. You. You, Miss White. I don't even know a Miss White, but the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord says, Miss White. Miss White, that's you. The Lord Jesus Christ has sent me here for you. You have been neglected. Fear is upon you. The Lord wants you to survive this attack. I would love to pray with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Miss White, the Lord wants me to pray for you right here, right now. Come, lift up your hands before Jehovah, he sees you. Hallelujah, the Lord says he loves you and he cares so much about you. He wants to help you. Tears are flowing from your face because the Lord loves you and you're feeling his love right now. That is the love of Jesus Christ. Chebalado sokaromoto. Jibusu kulemeresa. Lift up your hands before the Most High God. Receive from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. His power. Lekera matado sobolo korosuni. His power to dismantle setbacks. Yes, setbacks. You have, you should have been so far right now. But you have been under an attack of setbacks. Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Akalo Boroso. I release your power, Almighty God, to break chains right now in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ died on the cross. With the power Jesus Christ has given unto me, I release the power of God to break chains from the life of Miss White right now in the name of Jesus. Lusa baba ba shokurusa. Lusa baba shokuruse kela. Break in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Risa makolo shorosa. Satan, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rebuke you, Lekarosa. Aisheba kuru sebelana no korosa. Lisheba kano. This is the sheep of the Lord. Silamanondo. I command the bashu sunekel. Heka shokolobo sananeleke. Rubu shana mateles nekeroso. Lishamando suku. Reba Shadamanoso, every predator be caloso that has swore me shall be canon no soya. Lisa mano no call. 
that has sworn Miss Wright Rukuri, Miss White right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, dismantle you. Bam, 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 rubu shakande, risamano luku. I called on fire from heaven, e karo shere sanano, luce be kanele surimanda sel. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to devour. So anything that has come to devour Miss White, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put him. Nakanoso, a muzzle de cado so pananda, a ponesha isholuso, rica lomodo coro selamana, a pon the alpha male, ruban de keru selamasana, in the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, I lock you down, libada sanda coroso, I dismantle and scatter you kuloborosa, your pack right now in Jesus' name. I check hello musu badana na no lo busha lande riba sulu kurose lamata kurosoye riba shakalo burina na matolo in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth even the one that was meant to take your position after you're defeated I locate it I decree a righteous decree that the children of the wicked are destroyed a bando koshne in the name of Jesus Christ, trap be broken. The rod of iron from my father has located you. Every sheep right now, Mekaloso, that is suffering. Suffering because of neglect, the Lord Jesus Christ. Dismantle de Keroso. Every force of darkness that has come to devour his people in Jesus' name, even you, Miss White, the rod of iron from Jehovah, from Rabbanai, Jesus Christ, dismantles each one of those predators, each one of those ravenous wolves right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Through the power of Jesus Christ, I save you from out of their attack in Jesus' name. And from the bomb that comes from Jesus Christ only, I cover your wounds with the healing anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, arise, daughter of the Most High God. Take your position of authority. I bind up the spirit of setback from off of you right now in Jesus' name and I dismiss fear. Fear is not your portion. We ought to be bold like lions. Hallelujah. For God has not given us a spirit of fear but a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. The only true predator there must be is the child of God going after the devil. Ruko Shabande. Crouching, meaning ready to attack. For an animal, a predator only crouch when they're ready to attack. Le Shabasuye. So we are crouching, we are sitting in our position of authority. Liba Rukush Netel. Wupaye Kalo Sush Netel. Matandeko, under the principles of Jehovah, because you cannot go into battle without the armor of God. Child of God, Esopolonde, Zibe Shanande Leko, you need the covering from God. Don't take up yourself and go where the Lord did not send you. Meshalabokoro. As a servant, serve. Allow yourself to be led by God's Spirit. And then and only then you will be a true worshiper. For those who worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. The sons of God are those who are led by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take dominion, take charge. Father, 
I usher in your presence. Do your perfect will cover me and my family under your blood in Jesus' name. Cover these and their family under your blood in Jesus' name. I specially, I specially, I specially put Miss White into your care. Let the blessing of the Lord which makes rich and adds no sorrows with it locate her in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. Join me again if the Lord is willing next Wednesday in Jesus' name. Remember to subscribe, to share in Jesus' name. Bye!